today you will see about uh, the total ash content in food products. So how to estimate the total ash content from almost all food products. So for that purpose we will introduce first what is exactly the ash content. Ash content is nothing but uh, the inorganic residue that is left after ignition or you can say that it is the complete oxidation of organic matter from your food sample. So whatever will be the remaining residue is there that will be your total ash content. Now we will see the practical demonstration for ash content. So this is the silica crucible in which we will carry out the ash content. For this we have to condition this crucible in an oven. So we will keep this silica crucible in oven. will be kept for at least 15 to 20 minutes for conditioning purpose and after that we will take its initial after 20 minutes of conditioning of silica crucible we will take the final uh, sorry initial weight of our crucible so let's keep the silica crucible from desiccator and we will weigh note down its initial weight of procedure. After taking the initial weight, we will weigh the crushed sample. Always use the homogenized and crushed sample for ash purpose. So we will take approximately 2 grams of sample for total ash content. So what is So this is the uh, weight of sample along with the crucible. Now we will keep this crucible in a same desiccator and after that we will keep it in the furnace for ashing purpose. After taking the uh, weight of the sample, uh, we will keep this silica crucible along with the sample in a muffle furnace. For this we have to switch on the instrument. So we will switch, switch, switch on the instrument and we have already set the temperature to 550 degrees Celsius. Now we have to carry out the ash content at 550 degrees Celsius. Open the door of furnace and we will keep the silica crucible in the furnace for ashing purpose. It will require around 3 to 4 hours. That means within 3 hours the ash content procedure will going to be complete. So this is all about the furnace. After 3 hours of ignition, now we will remove the silica crucible from the furnace. We have to remove it very carefully because the temperature is higher in the furnace. So, this is the actual procedure of ashing. Now we will take the final way. Now after complete ignition, uh, this is actually the ash which we got in the crucible. So if you can see over here, this is the actual ash content which we get after ignition. That means from the furnace. Now we will take its final weight for the resultant calculation purpose. Keep in the balance and record its final weight that means whatever the weight we will get that will be the weight of your ash along with the crucible so in practice we have to take the consecutive readings for 
constant mass that means we actually the follow the procedure of weighing and keeping in the furnace for at least two three times till we didn't get the constant mass so this is all about the procedure of total ash content now we will see its calculation part afterwards now this is the calculation part for ash content now weight of crucible a as 32.2007 grams now weight of crucible plus sample is 34.2152 grams and b minus a that is weight of sample is 2.0145 grams now weight of crucible plus residue that means after ignition the residue weight is 32.2162 grams now we will minus the crucible plus residue minus empty crucible weight that will be 0.0155 grams. We will put all these uh, values, whatever we got. C minus A, that is 0 0.0155 into 100 divided by B minus A, that is weight of sample, that is 2.0145. The calculation answer uh, comes out to be 0.77%. So this is the total ash content from our food sample.